at Coram Deo Farm. Today is an exciting day. Today I'm starting the process of my shed makeover. So there's a great shed, I'll show you here in a minute, that came with the property, but it's sad, it's old, but it's huge. So I thought it would be fun to clean it out, repaint it, add window boxes, just make it look like a beautiful little cottage shed on the property and not just a beige box. So let me show you. Okay, so here it is. You probably saw in a previous video me putting some of my pots just to decorate it for now in my winter sewing and waiting to be transplanted perennials. But here it is, this cute little front windows and a nice porch and a drive up ramp. I think the previous owners parked their mower in there, but since we'll have ours on our tractor, this is all mine for storage. So let's open it up. It's a bit terrifying inside. Right. See? That's pretty big. There's already some built-in shelves that we'll sweep out, clean off. There's some pretty horrifying wasp nests. Are they called nests? Wasp nests in there and stuff. So we'll try to scrape these out, um, sweep out. But I've got shelves, I've got a bench. Looks like there used to be some hooks up there for hanging tools, so maybe I can add my own hooks here for shovels and rakes. We're gonna have to add a panel to cover that insulation here, but it's nice to know that it's insulated. It's not gonna be totally freezing in here. But honestly, the most important feature to me that is just really special is my pirate poster for Edward. Teach, commonly called Captain Teach or Blackbeard. 100 pounds for every other commander of a pirate ship sloop. Yo ho, yo ho, the pirate's life for me. So the plan today is to sweep this out. I wish I had my blower, but for today we're gonna sweep this out. We're gonna clean the benches, get everything old and gross and prior living stuff out of here. We're gonna temporarily put a lot of my garden stuff in here because the truck is hopefully coming really soon with the rest of our stuff. So we'll be able to store it in here, but get this all out. And then I'm hoping next week we start painting. So here we go. Come here, let me have the bag. Let me help. It's turning into your YouTube channel, Mom. Ah! I'll get you! Ryan, help me with that cord. Cor ah. What are you doing? I'm having a bit of I think that looks a lot better in here. We swept out, we vacuumed, we cut off all the wasp nests that were in here. So now I feel like at least like a wasp mummy is not going to emerge and attack me when I'm trying to organize my garden shed. So it's pretty good. I'm gonna move again all my stuff in here temporarily just to get it out of the garage. And then I'll come back here and film more on painting day. 
everyone, it's a new day and the shed is green. It's green, it's green, we had it painted. So a couple days ago, I had painters at the house doing a couple interior rooms. They also painted my shutters and my front door, which I'll show you at the end of the video. And since they were already here, I asked them to paint my shed, my beige box, a greenish blue color. It's called green water and they used one of those cool automatic spray things. So it went super fast. But today, my mom and I are going to add like a creamy, um, trim color to it to have it really pop give it some more dimension so we're going to tape it off here and we're going to start around the windows and doors and posts and then hopefully if there's enough time today we are also going to install and plant my little window boxes so come along <laughs> to finish so it took uh, how many days it was three days overall to get this done if you remember when we started in the beginning of this video it was a boring beige box there was nothing going on everything was the same color inside was an absolute horror show of wasp terror and dust and gross so we got it all swept out we got it all the mummy wasps out and it's kind of organized in there right now from the unpacking, but I think the outside just looks wonderful. Now, instead of a beige box, it looks like a little charming cottage that is just an added touch of charm on the property. And it's gonna make me even more excited when I come out each day to get my tools and get my stuff for the day to be able to see all this bright, wonderful color. So I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. All right, so it's a couple days later and we are replacing all of the brackets with nice sharp looking black brackets. There's two reasons for that. One, when we went through, we just painted right over it to get it done. I didn't want to fuss with paint or with taping all the corners and going around it. And also the brackets are old, just like the shed. And so the center bracket wasn't even keeping the door closed. It was loose. So we thought that replacing it with these nice crisp black would actually look even better with the white trim and really contrast it. So we're going to go through, we're going to take off the brackets one by one and paint around the edges that we need to and replace it with these really lovely black brackets and I think the contrast is going to look even better. 
Good morning everyone, Alex here at Coramdale Farm. Today, I'm starting the big shed. Well, that didn't go well. Let's try again. Gosh, I don't know how. I'm gonna have a YouTube channel with this nonsense. Come on, out. Good job. 